Hello folks, welcome to my workshop. Uh, this is Bianco Instruments Workshop, and I'm Dominic Bianco. We're going to, today we're going to be making Ailey reed balances. We're going to go through most of the processes of which we do it. Uh, we're going to start off with some premium grade stainless steel. The are already partially polished. The backs are taped so that they don't get scratched. Next step, we're going to go upstairs and uh, do some laser engraving on them. So we have a form of what we're actually gonna cut out. Right, so here we are in the laser engraving section and uh, I have a program already set up in the computer uh, to mark four pieces on each of these plates. And basically you just you put it in place and you align it. Like that, we need to focus the lens with your glasses on and hit the go button. Let's hit it again. That's it. Let's see if you can see that. There's four reed balances getting ready. You can see reflection, it's pretty cool. Let's <laughs> run another one. I'm going to do the rest of them and then we're going to go back uh, downstairs to the cutting and uh, start cutting them out. We'll show you how we cut them out. All right, so here we are at the bandsaw and uh, we're going to cut out a couple of these just to show you how we, we get these done. As you can see, I stamped all of them and um, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, you just have to be careful that they don't get too hot. And... Uh, Bear with me because the glare is terrible here, so I'm trying different angles to get it so you can see it really, really good. Bandsaw is already set up with a um, metal cutting blade. Basically, that's it. We got four pieces ready to go. Then we'll go to the grinder. So here we are, my industrial grinder. And we're gonna remove all the burrs and, and reshape um, basically the top part. Okay, and then and then we'll have something that's uh you'll see me working on the side of the wheel to make the part straight and straighten it all out. I can't work with four in my hand, I'll put them down for now. We'll start with one. Put a little light on it so it can Yeah, 
there is an easier way of doing this. It's called uh, investing in a YAG laser, which is about $50,000. So maybe someday, in the ALA, and the funds to do that, we'll be incorporating that. That make it a little bit easier to cut them out. Put it in, and do them by hand. Polishing the edges slightly. So when you get it, they're not sharp on the edges. And pretty much that's it. scratching the piece. We still got the tape on the back. Let's try it on. This is why I tell everybody that when when they um, when they're unsure that their reed is not straight, they could use the side of the reed balancer. Just double check it because once it comes off that wheel, it's as straight as anything going to be. You want to heat it up because the heat actually deteriorates the stainless. It takes the hardness out of it. So it doubles the polishing process, which we still have to polish it also. But first, first we're going to go to uh, the drill and drill the hole. I'll have all of that set up again. All right, let's go to drill. Let's go drill some holes. Okay, so the trick here is that we have a round spot right there where we're gonna drill it. And since we started incorporating these these lanyards into the into the into the what do you call it? They kind of go around inside the hole like this. Excuse my big fingers, which aren't as big as Marty's, but they're big. And um, and so what's nice about this is it, 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 it's nice, but you have to drill a big enough hole and you have to worry about it so that this fits through. We use a specialty bit. It has a, I'll pull it out for you real quick. It has a, a super point to it. And then it also takes off any burrs on the top of it. So it's kind of like two bits at one. It's a centering bit, so I don't have to put a, um, a punch mark on the rebalancer. We have a little bit of light here to help me. Um, I think this angle probably will be good. Everything's a little stiff this morning. It's a little, a little cold in the shop today. And uh, yeah, it's so cold outside, the heat's not working. <laughs> side and it's fine right there and this does it without leaving a bar which is nice it's a nice finished hole of course the trick is to get it centered there you go very 
ready to go. Next process, we're going to polish them and take the tape off and then uh, back to the, the polishing grinder. And we'll do, uh, when we're doing a run of 40, 50 reed bounces, I'll be here for a good hour just drilling. All right, so we're gonna remove the tape, which is not that difficult, but when, you, when you're dealing with the, the larger quantities, it becomes a little bit of a pain in the ass. Probably should sell them with the with the tape on them so you guys could take it off, but that would be rude. And then you'd have this gummy stuff too, so it wouldn't look right. Put a little rouge on the wheel. This gold rouge that's awesome. fingers to constantly feel anything that's sharp. The only thing that we want sharp is that edge and we'll be working on that soon enough too. Let's get a towel. Both sides fully polished. I try to make them as perfect as possible. Pretty good too. Let's go to the next step. So, folks, the next process is actually producing the edge that works for this ALE reed balancer. And the edge that we produce is proprietary to ALE. It's something I've developed over many, many years, and we're not ready to share what we do to make that yet. Uh, but, uh, well, I can tell you, it is not sharp to the touch, but it will remove bamboo. And after I finish putting an edge on here, I'll should demonstrate how well these work. So give me a couple of seconds and uh, I'll be right back. I apologize that we cannot show you that, that part, but here it is now with the edge applied. And um, I tested on a block of wood. This is hardened maple. And basically, if it'll, you can see the, the shavings on the maple that it comes off on both sides. You have two edges. It'll work on bamboo, no problem. And this is actually, if you look at this wood, it's very, very smooth because this produces a such a smooth edge 
and such a smooth finish that, you know, on your bamboo reed, you want that nice and smooth finish as well. And that makes it harder for these to actually work because it's so smooth. Where, where you see I have it, it's rough on the edge. This will grab no problem on the edge or, or on a corner. But on the flat is where you need it the most on the bamboo. And that's where we make sure that this thing cuts. And it'll continue cutting like this for hours. It's a great edge. Uh, this is a great product. Anybody that's a woodwind player absolutely has to have one of these things. The reeds are coming in horrible. They're coming in worse and worse every year. And it's not, you know, the reed manufacturer's fault. It's the, the, the problem is that they're growing the bamboo as fast as they can. And they don't have the time uh, to let it dry, you know, fully. They're packaging them as fast as they can. There's a, there's a lot of players in the in the world. Because um, this item is so small, and uh, we're able to ship this worldwide for free, and uh, and it's great. It's a great little tool. Next step, we go and stamp them. Now we go back up to the laser engraver and we put the ALE uh, reed balancer uh, logo on it. You could also get these with your name on them. We have logos on the site for um, a clarinet, saxophone, oboe, bassoon. We have hearts. Sometimes during Christmas, we do Christmas specials. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. We try to come up with innovative things, to keep you guys interested. And uh, let's go up to the laser. Let's put the name on it. Okay, we're back up in the stamping room again. <laughs> and I uh, got the machine all set up. Uh, loaded the program. Loaded ALE, Reed Balancer. This is Game Made in USA. Can't beat that, right? So I have a little jig set up. Here's the balancer. Is the two that we just made. Because we have plenty of other ones always in stock ready to go. We check the positioning. We adjust it a little bit. Make sure it's focused, which it's not. Put this one right here. Bring it down a little bit. That's good. Check everything again. We're good to go. Glasses. Don't forget your glasses. The glasses protect your eyes from the, the laser and the bright light. Okay. Let's do one more. I'll put that one in for now. One more. Actually get a little bit warm. There you go. The LE reed balancer. Alright, let's go to cleaning station. Alright, cleaning and packaging. First thing we do, we cover everything up. We wear gloves, masks. We're the first company, the Uncle Instruments, the first company to offer uh, medical grade sterilization disinfectant before shipping we were doing this prior to COVID and we'll continue to do this we clean them the entire instrument wipe it down with denatured alcohol which will disinfect and kill just about anything um, of course this is stainless steel also which it's not gonna harm it in any way and there's really nothing that can live on, on this at this time anymore. Wear the gloves so we don't touch it. You don't have your fingerprints all over it. And you can see how spotless they come. This is how we package the 
basic. It comes in this nice little final sleeve. And then we, we bag it. Fold that bag down. I'm just going to fold it twice. Just like that. We have a header card that has directions on the back. One down. This is our deluxe. We know it fits already because we already tested it. I'm not going to tighten it all the way. Just give it a quick wipe down. Just like that. Now, we have these also on the side in the bucket, like you saw in the previous segment. And anybody who needs one, um, you know, with their name on it, with the, with the saxophone, we have them ready to go. There you go. 20 bucks, $25. You want your name on it, it's another $5. This is the process. We, we have to set up the whole machine to do it. That's why we charge to put the name. I can take this off now, we're safe. Uh, I wanna thank everybody for watching. And hopefully you guys pick yourselves up one of these. It's uh, definitely gonna help you. It'll. Uh, one of the greatest little inventions I ever come up with. And uh, thank you, Marty, for helping me come up with this. And uh, you guys stay safe out there. And hopefully we'll go back to work real soon. Bye.